Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to start off with our second weekly video talking more deeply about the concept of globalization. As we're going to answer a lot of questions in our week. First of all, we're going to start off with how has globalization shaped the world? What is globalization and is it kind of new? And what are the main causes of globalization? So we're going to talk about the effect of globalization on different subjects and on different basically fields. In order to expand our knowledge when it comes to basically the concept of globalization and its effects on various subjects, we're going to have uh, basically to think about a lot of uh, pictures and concepts. So we're going to think pair share a lot in the class in order for us to answer the big question, which is, do you think that the world is getting smaller through globalization? And, you know, we get to know our perspectives and we get to share them too in the class. And as a reminder, so whenever we think about the concept of globalization or even its effects on different basically subjects or fields, we have all the time to basically align our findings with the main SOI that we have in our unit, which is a statement of inquiry that says globalization has occurred to a variety of processes that have changed the world, bringing both opportunities and even challenges. For us to study more and learn more about globalization, applying it to our daily practices, we're going to study a lot of case studies and basically charts, trying to compare basically the history of globalization in the past and how has globalization actually affected our world till today. Now moving on to what is globalization and how does it impact on our lives. So in order for us to um, acknowledge the impact of basically globalization on our lives, we're going to study a lot of case studies and charts. And as it started, we're going to start off with the world's map, the world at a glance, learning more about the densely colored green areas and what do they refer to in alignment to the history of globalization. Now, the causes of globalization. So globalization is not new. It has been a process that has been ongoing for centuries. Although its space and nature have evolved over time, globalization actually refers to the increasing interconnectedness and interdependence of countries and people around the world, particularly in terms of economics, trade, culture, technology, and communication. Historically speaking, globalization can be traced back to ancient times when trade routes like the Silk Road facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures between different civilizations. However, in more recent history, several factors have been accelerated the process of globalization. So we're going to talk about the age of exploration, industrial revolution, and lastly, the information age that started in the 20th basically century. Um, and it's still basically it's, it's still going on until today. Now we're going to explore the causes of globalization on different subjects, starting off with transportation. So with transportation, developments like high-speed trails and basically flights mean that people and goods can travel much more quickly around the world. In communication, the increased speeds of the internet technology has allowed for far greater and effective connectivity between people across basically the globe. Now regarding trade, a lot of countries have trading agreements that allow for the exchange of goods with relative basically ease globally. And lastly, talking about labor availability, so workers are no longer confined to their geographic location for work. This is due basically migration, so they travel to different countries to work in different basically capacities. You can see such actually inventions prove um, that globalization isn't actually new. Now, for example, imagine you're living in the town that had just had a railway station built during the 19th century. However, now you can travel far more easily to locations that in, in the past may have taken you several days to get to. So as you can see, we have differences and the counter arguments, however, shows that the speed of globalization has been rapidly increasing in the past few decades and especially in the 21st century. Now to summarize our points, we'll say globalization is not a new concept, but its scope and impact have evolved over time due to technology advancements, changing economics and political landscapes.